This game is the closest thing to Call of Duty Warzone for potato pieces. It's called Combat Master and it was developed by a small studio called Alpha Bravo using the Unity engine. You could say that the game is, in a way, almost divided into like two separate games. The first one is like the normal Combat Master and the second one is Combat Zone. The normal Combat Master one features a wide variety of modes. The Team Deathmatch and Deathmatch modes are pretty self-explanatory, no need to go into detail here. Kill confirmed is just just like Team Deathmatch, except you're supposed to grab these badges which your enemies drop when you kill them in order for your team to get points. You can also grab the badges from your killed allies to prevent them from being grabbed by the enemy. Capture the flag is also very obvious, you grab the flag from the enemy spawn and bring it to your team's spawn. Arms race is like Deathmatch except that when you kill somebody, you get a different weapon. In search and destroy, you plant a bomb to either point A or B. If the bomb is successfully planted, the opposite team must defuse it before it sets off. Your team can also win however, if all the players from the opposite team are killed. It's basically the same thing as in Counter Strike. In the Combat Master mode, yes it has the name of the game itself, you start off with no weapons and 3 lives. You're supposed to grab any weapons you find scattered throughout the map in order to have any chance of, well, surviving, because everybody is your enemy. If you lose all your lives, it's game over. Fight Yard is yet another deathmatch mode except that you start off with a pistol only and you play in a map that looks like that map in Quake 3 from 1999. So yeah, it's basically Quake. And then there's the Demon Slayer mode in which 10 players participate, one of which starts off as a demon while the rest are considered slayers. You're supposed to defend yourself from the demons, if one of the demons manages to kill you, you, yourself, turn into a demon. If the demons manage to kill all the slayers, the demons win. If the demons fail to kill all the slayers before the time runs out, the slayers win. And finally, what you're all interested in, Combat Zone. It starts off with a cool helicopter cutscene, then you also get a wonderful view of the whole map before dropping. You've got your typical Warzone-like battle royale gameplay with the modern weapons, ammo, armor and other stuff scattered throughout the map. There are also supply boxes, the playable area shrinks over time and there's even the Guac. Like, this is literally Warzone! It's just crazy! Now, depending on the season, the developers do make a new map for Combat Zone for each season. Right now, as of the making of this video, the map is this castle map called Ravenhold. I remember when they first introduced the Combat Zone mod, they made a map that closely resembled the map in Call of Duty Warzone, then in the next season they replaced it with an oil rig one, which was actually more lightweight than the previous map, and now we have the Ravenhold map, which I'd say is about as demanding as the first map. So with every new season, as the devs make new maps for Combat Zone, the performance on your PC will probably be different, so that's something to keep in mind. The graphics aren't anything special really, I'd say they're about as good as the ones in the original Modern Warfare games, you can't expect anything fancy from a Unity game made by a small studio. Speaking of performance and graphics, the game asks for only 1GB of storage, 4GB of RAM, a 256MB DirectX 9 graphics card and the Core Duo E6600 from 2006. My almost 8 year old Lenovo Legion Y520 had no trouble maintaining very high FPS even in combat zone and that is a 1080p with the highest settings possible. But can we also run it on something that's much closer to the minimum system requirements? Take my other Lenovo IdeaPad 115 IBY laptop laptop for example, which has an Intel Celeron which is actually so bad that it's slower than the Core Duo E6600, but I think it should run well still. This Celeron has Intel HD graphics page rail, which will also suck, but they should also be good enough. We also have the minimum required 4GB of RAM and I'm using Windows X Lite because normal Windows 10 sucks with all that bloatware. So how does it run? 
Well, I used memory reduct to free up some extra RAM for Combat Master to use, I'm using the absolute lowest settings that are allowed, plus I disabled some more stuff in the game options, not the graphics options, I even lowered the FOV to as low as it can go, which isn't really a great idea, but hey, if it's what it takes to get more FPS, then let it be. I'm also using the Misty 512 by 384 resolution as it's a pretty low 4x3 resolution since 4x3 resolutions generally give better performance in this game than widescreen ones. If you guys want to make it stretched, all you need to do is lower your desktop resolution to 1024x768 or any other 4x3 resolution, but do make sure you set the panel fit or whatever it's called in your GPU's case to scale full screen. And unfortunately guys, it wasn't all that great. At least in the three matches that I played in normal Combat Master on the Celeron, I did really badly. I finished in 8th place in the first two matches and I spent most of the time either getting killed from behind or struggling to properly aim. It was only in the third match in this more lightweight map when I got to 5th place. I'm not sure if it's cause I suck that hard or that the game decided to put me against people using pieces that they built after selling their kidneys, or the horrible FOV, or just the Celeron being, well, Celeron. You know what? I'm gonna blame the Celeron here for getting destroyed by 2006, and I thought it couldn't get worse than this until I tried Combat Zone, and oh boy, at first it was so bad that I was sent to the prison in the very beginning of the match as I was still dropping where I was killed again. Wonderful. The second time it was a little bit better, I mean I was actually able to do more than just dying at the beginning, look at that guys, I even managed to kill my opponent in the prison, but uh, yeah, it wasn't very good at all. I mean the FPS were all over the place and it was totally as heck. Not exactly what you want in a warzone like game. Ah man, you would think that even this little Celeron would be able to do something in a 1GB game that asks for a culture duo from 2006. But nope, even this much optimization was not enough for the <coughs> But if you have a PC with a CPU that isn't slower than the culture duo E6600 from 2006 and at least 4GB of RAM, well, Combat Master is a multiplayer game that you should definitely check out. It's a good mix of all the famous first person shooter franchises combined into a single gigabyte and it's a great alternative for anybody, not just those with a low end PC, if you don't want to waste 200 gigabytes of your drive storage for the actual Warzone game. So I hope you enjoyed this random, albeit hopefully informative video, you can also check out my other video on this game from the link on the left, or you can check out any of my videos from the playlist on the right, which are definitely worth checking out if you also don't have the world's gold reserve for buying a god tier PC. And I wish you all a good day!